today's tutorial we are going to learn about periodic and aperiodic signals for a continuous time signal x of t as shown here in the sinusoidal wave if the signal repeats itself after a particular time that is in this case the sinusoid repeats itself at t is equal to 2 pi after t is equal to 2 pi we can see a similar peak as it was here from t is equal to 0 Thus, a periodic signal repeats itself, that is the part of a signal repeats itself after a time period. That time period is called the period of the or the fundamental period of the signal and that signal is periodic signal which is represented mathematically as x of t is equal to x of t plus t naught. This t naught is the fundamental period and if the signal is aperiodic then mathematically it is represented as x of t is not equal to x of t plus t naught as it can be seen in this signal that there is no repetition ever in uh, the time direction for this signal so it's an aperiodic signal. Similarly for any discrete signal uh, x of n the periodicity and a periodicity can be represented mathematically as x if x of n is equal to x of n plus a capital n this capital n is the fundamental period then x of n is a periodic discrete time signal and if this is not true then x of n is an a periodic discrete time signal now let us look at how to determine uh, whether a given signal is periodic or aperiodic signal. We know that t is equal to 1 by f that is time is equal to 1 upon frequency multiplying and dividing on RHS by 2 pi we get t is equal to 2 pi by 2 pi f. This 2 pi f equals to omega that is omega is equal to 2 pi f which is the angular frequency which is generally denoted in the mathematical representation of any signal whether it is a discrete time signal or a continuous time signal now when we put this omega from the given signal in this formula if t is a rational number then signal is periodic and if t turns out to be irrational then signal is an aperiodic signal for signals of the type x of t is equal to a uh, summation of two signals x1 of t and x2 of t then uh, for this uh, for treating these two signals as separate entities we can find the t capital t which is equal to 2 pi by omega separately and denote them as t1 and t2 respectively for x1 of t and x2 of t taking the ratio of these two capital T's that is T1 upon T2 if this ratio is a ratio of two integers then the main signal or the signal in question is a periodic signal and it is an aperiodic signal if T1 upon T2 is not a ratio of two integers the fundamental period in this case will be LCM of T1 and T2 now let us have a look at few examples on finding whether the signal is periodic or aperiodic. Uh, number one, given the signal is x of n is equal to cos of 2 pi n by 10. This is a discrete time signal. Now the angular frequency omega will be 2 pi by 10. The number which is adjacent to the small n coefficient this is the angular frequency now as seen in the earlier formula that is t is equal to 2 pi by omega we put the omega in this formula that is 2 pi upon 2 pi by 10 rearranging the 2 pi cancels and we get t is equal to 10 which is rational so x of n is periodic with a fundamental period of t of, of t is equal to or capital n is equal to 10 radians per second a uh, capital n because this is a discrete time signal now let us take a continuous time signal example that is x of t is equal to sine of 2t now here the number which is uh, adjacent to the time co co uh, variable 
is 2 that is the angular frequency will be 2 so capital T is equal to 2 pi by omega which is equal to 2 pi by 2 for putting the omega in this formula we get t is equal to pi that is t is equal to pi which is a irrational number pi is an irrational number so x of t is an aperiodic signal now the third example x of t is equal to summation of two separate signals that is sin 2 t plus sin 21 t as it can be shown here uh, x of t can be combination of x1 of t and x2 of t now separate taking these two separate signals x1 of t is equal to sin 2t so the angular frequency omega 1 is 2 and similarly for x2 of t omega 2 is 21 now putting it uh, omega 1 and omega 2 in uh, the capital T formula t1 is equal to 2 pi by omega 1 and t2 is equal to 2 pi by omega 2 we get t1 is equal to pi and t2 is equal to 2 pi by 21 now as seen earlier when we get a signal of the following representation that is combination of two sub signals we take the ratio of their respective t's that is t1 upon t2 will give me pi upon 2 pi by 21 which is 21 by 2 now this ratio comprises of both uh, both integer numbers so x of t is periodic signal now the period will be lcm of t1 and t2 that is 2 and 21 which is 42 radians per second